up, y'all? It's your girl Chaz coming to you live on this beautiful Friday. And I wanted to come on and share with you all one of my favorite go-to drinks um, that I drink every morning, all right? So I wanted to share with you all this tea. It's called ashwagandha. I don't know if you all have heard of that before. Ashwagandha is a root, and it looks like this in this picture. See that? It basically helps deal with depression, anxiety, um, it boosts your immunity, um, it fights against cancer, um, it, it helps your memory and your brain function and your nervous system, and I can go on and on and on and on and on, okay? But I'm not gonna do that. What I am gonna do is share with you my experience and the experience of my loved ones that have used it. So. I discovered it online and I wanted to give it a try because it said it's the most purest form and that it helps with depression and anxiety. Now I was really going through it with postpartum for the past six years, okay? My oldest is six years old and I've had postpartum depression ever since he was born and throughout every pregnancy. Now um, it's gotten like better after each pregnancy but it's still been an issue to the point where I get so depressed that I don't want to do anything and that I feel horrible and I can't think straight. So this tea, let me tell y'all, I started taking it and it comes with these little scoopers, right? You put two little scoops. You see that, how small it is? Thank you. Two little scoops of the ashwagandha in a cup of hot water. And I use my raw honey, whatever brand you want. This is the private selection from Kroger. Um, but it has to be raw, unfiltered honey, okay? Otherwise, it's fake honey, okay? So I just take uh, two teaspoons in there and mix it up. See, it doesn't mix very well, so you kind of have to break it up. And I already put my honey in there. And I will just drink, gobble this thing up. And um, yeah, man, it just, drink that up. And this one kicks in right away. I feel good immediately. So, so um, I'll take this every day. And when I started taking it, it took like about a week and I started feeling better. Like I started feeling like, oh, like, you know, I'm happy again and I want to do stuff, you know, but this last time that I was dealing with depression, I was like, let me go get started back drinking my tea. Cause you know, like you fall off doing stuff and keeping up. And I don't know why I, I stopped because honestly it works that great. So the first thing I want to share is how it helped me in this past, uh, this last postpartum depression episode that I've dealt with. Um, our baby boy, Emmanuel, is six months old now, and I, it kind of hit me, the postpartum kind of hit me, like, at, like, after, like, he was, like, two months is when it kind of started weighing on me, and until the point by, like, four months, I was completely, like, just didn't want to do anything, didn't want to roll out of bed, couldn't think straight, like... The only thing I could do was just do the bare minimum to take care of my kids. Like feed them, bathe them, change them, send them off to school, do whatever I had to do. But um, as far as like trying to get things done around the house and trying to take care of business and stuff, I just couldn't wrap my mind around this like plethora of stuff I had to do. So I started um, back drinking the tea, the ashwagandha tea. Show it to you again. I started back drinking it, and in just three days, I had complete clarity, okay? I could think, I could like make a list and not feel overwhelmed. Um, like before, I couldn't even make a list because I was like, huh, I can't even, I don't know, I don't know. I was just totally like just clouded. And it's not, it's not fun to be in that state, you know? So, um, Three days into me taking the tea, I automatically just, everything just started coming back to me. I was like feeling happy. Not only does this clear you mentally, it also helps your body 
to invigorate itself and to energize itself. So this is definitely an energy booster as well. So the next testimony I want to share with you about the ashwagandha is my grandmother. So my grandmother, um, she's, I think she's just now in her 70s. Um, she's been instrumental in my life, right? So she was like, you know, one of the people that raised me from, from a young girl. And she was always energetic, always on the go, like super, super young in spirit and able and capable of doing anything and everything up into her late years, right? So she recently was diagnosed with dementia and she has been put in a nursing home and she's been there for um, maybe over a year or about a year. Um, but a couple months ago, I got a phone call from my aunt and my uncle and they were on FaceTime and they were like, listen, she's not doing good and you might want to start preparing mentally for her not to be here anymore. And I've never lost anyone prior to that moment. So that was scary for me, right? Because I don't know how to prepare to lose somebody potentially. And um, this is my grandmother you're talking about, right? I have both of my grandmothers at the time and, you know, I never really grasped that they were gonna, you know, eventually pass on, you know? So when I got that message, I immediately just like freaked out and I was like, oh no, I'm coming up there and I'm bringing my ashwagandha because it has shown that, studies have shown and the, some of the benefits are that it improves your brain function and your nerve function. Now with dementia, it is a disease that takes over your mind that it literally like stops your brain from functioning in different areas like your memory, um, like your brain telling the rest of your body what to do, like it just stops working. And um, when I got there, I, you know, my aunt had told me that she hadn't eaten or drank anything in over a month. When I saw my grandmother, she was literally skin and bones, okay? Like no meat on her. It was just skin and bones, skeletal. It was scary. And not only that, but when I came in the room, when I saw her, she was not responsive. Like she didn't even know who I was. She did not know who I was, y'all. Like that's a scary thing when the person that raised you, that had a big impact on your life, doesn't recognize you. And I know there's probably a lot of people out there that can relate to that. And that is not a good feeling. It's actually quite sad. And um, I'm not gonna get emotional because this is informative and I'm happy and I wanna share this testimony. So when I got there, um, I walked in the nursing room and or in her room and she was just not, she looked like a zombie to be very frank and honest. Like her eyes were just gazing like into, Face. She was like zone tuned out. She wasn't speaking. She she kind of moved her head a little bit, but she didn't recognize me. Okay, I'm her first grandchild, and the fact that she hadn't eaten like that was scary. So they had just um, the nurse had just came in the room, and she was like, "Yeah, I have. There's a cup of cranberry juice sitting on the counter there next to her bed. I've been trying to get her to drink it all day. She just won't drink it." So maybe you'll have better luck being that you have an emotional connection with her. And so I was like, let me see this cranberry juice. So I took two scoops of this ashwagandha, two of these little scoops. I mixed it into that cranberry juice. Now it doesn't mix well because it's so pure. Um, it doesn't really dissolve that well. It kind of just will sink to the bottom of your water or whatever you put it in. So you have to like shake it up or stir it up real good and then just consume it, right? So I mixed the ashwagandha in her um, in her cranberry juice and she had a little straw in it. And I was like, in Jesus name, I was like, in Jesus name, you are healed and you are no longer ill. And this, this juice right here, this concoction is going to bring you back to life in Jesus name, okay? I spoke that over her life and I put the straw in her mouth and I gave it to her. She started slurping it up. Now I know that she initially started slurping it up because of the word of God. That's a whole nother story and I'll be happy to share more testimonies and stuff. 
But I know because I prayed that prayer right then and there and I believed it that she started drinking it. Okay. The nurse just said she couldn't get her to drink it all day. So she drank the whole cup, you guys. The whole, it was like an eight ounce clear plastic cup of cranberry juice with the ashwagandha in it. She drank the whole cup. This lady had, hasn't drank or ate anything in a month. And she drank the whole cup, okay? And I told y'all how she was not responsive at all. Okay, so we, you know, gave her a hug and a kiss, sat there with her for a while, and she was still not really responsive. And so we decided to go call it a night because it was already like 10 o'clock at night when we got there, when we went to see her. So we went to my aunt's house, you know, rested, and then the next morning we went back to see her. So I went back to see her in the morning. <clears throat> Do you know when I walked in the room, my grandmother was like, Chastity, mi nieta. She knew who I was. Mi nieta, for those of you that don't speak Spanish, I'm, I'm Dominican, is my granddaughter. So, I was like, she was just like a total zombie last night, less than 24 hours ago, okay? She drank that whole cup that night, okay? I declared her healed that night. The next day, now, she's not 100%. But she went from like 20% to like 60%, okay? And then, and that was just less than 24 hours, okay? By drinking this ashwagandha. Now this ashwagandha is a natural, natural uh, organic root that grows out of the earth. It's, it has a very earthy taste to it. And um, it doesn't taste very good, but the effects of it, you might want to gulp it down with something. So anyway, you know? So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, she's doing well right now. She's talking, you know. I was there for like three or four days and she was getting better and better each day. She was eating food. Now when I tell you she was not eating anything, they said she hadn't eaten in over a month and I could tell by looking at her. She was like skin and bones. That, that second day when we went to visit her and she recognized me, she was smiling, she was happy. Like, she was not tuned out to the world. I told my aunt immediately, have them take her off every medication that she is on. She was on like 12 pills. I don't even know what they are or what they were. But I said, tia, nena, take her off all those medications and let her just drink that tea every day. And she listened because she saw what it did in less than 24 hours. She, my aunt was shocked. Okay. She was shocked and she kept giving her the tea and she's just gotten better and better. And now here we are six months later and my, there's videos on Facebook of my grandmother dancing with my aunt and my uncle. So, um, yeah, y'all like it, it is. It's wild how quickly, it's wild how quickly this stuff works. And um, I just got a word from, and I did this video now because like, I've seen it work too many times for me not to share it with y'all and for it to like help other people. Cause I'm all about helping people. That's, that's what my heart is, is helping people in any way that I can. And what God has shown me is that I've been through enough tests and trials that, and I've overcome them with his strength that I can now share with you all and um, answer questions and really just help people get into a better, healthy state. You know, mentally, mental illness is running rampant and I'm glad that it's open discussion nowadays. And um, I know there's a lot of mothers that struggle with postpartum depression and they feel embarrassed to talk about it. You know, it, it's not embarrassing. It's not shameful. Most of women go through it. You know, there's lucky women that don't have to struggle with it, but most of us do. And I thought I was gonna be fine. My pregnancies were healthy, no issues, easy, 
breezy deliveries, but it hit me after the fact every time. And it was with that depression and that anxiety and um, just feeling overwhelmed and not feeling capable. But I'm here to tell you today, I stand strong and boldly before Christ and with his strength and with this tea, I can conquer the world now. Like I have mental clarity, I can do whatever I need to do. Uh, you know, I have a list, I can make a list of things that I need to get done and I can do it with no problem. Now, if you thinking, like if you're thinking, well, you should be able to make a list with no problem anyway. Like there's something wrong with you if you can't. Yes, that's exactly right, okay? So for those women that have struggled with postpartum depression or with any form of depression or anxiety, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So I hope that this blesses you and inspires you and, you know, is informative. Um, there's so many benefits to ashwagandha. I'm gonna get my list. Hold on, let me get it on my computer. Okay, so some of the benefits of ashwagandha are brain and nerve function, helps memory and brain function, and may protect against diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and help nerve, help nerves heal, okay? Thyroid, boosts thyroid function and hyper, hypothyroidism, um, traditionally for fatigue, okay? So it gives you energy and um, immune system. It improves and boosts immune function in a few days, okay? So if you're sick or if you feel something coming on, drink some tea and you'll feel better, okay? Um, may help autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. That's huge. Muscle building. For my people that like to work out and guys that wanna tone those, mu ladies and guys that wanna tone or, and build muscle, um, it muscle mass, strength, and testosterone levels were significantly higher um, when taking ashwagandha alongside training, okay? Then you have sexual function, okay? For my guys that can't get it up. <laughs> um, or just women that have a low libido, like you just don't wanna do it, you know? You're just not in the mood ever. Um, it shows to improve libido and sexual function in women and fertility in men. So if you are married and you're trying to have some beautiful babies and you're having a hard time with that, before you go try an intervention, try drinking the tea and see if that works. We got four babies, okay? We're fertile over here. <laughs> um, it traditionally strengthens reproductive function. Anxiety and focus, this is one of the top ones. Anxiety and focus can help reduce symptoms of anxiety, OCD, and ADHD, okay? Traditionally a calming herb. Now it does make you feel nice and chill and calm when you drink it, so that's a great benefit too. Uh, stress and exhaustion. Traditionally for nerve, nervous exhaustion, adrenal fatigue, um, helps you cope with stress and the effects of it, including anxiety. Okay, and then it says cancer. Several of the natural chemicals in ashwagandha are being investigated for their ability to kill cancer cells. It's real, this is natural stuff from the earth that God created. God did not miss or forget anything, okay? God thought of it all. He created everything that we could possibly need in it, okay? We don't, there's no need for man-made medicine. Blood sugar and cholesterol can lower cholesterol and blood sugar in those who have high levels. So, my African American and Latinos, okay? We are, in our culture, we're prone to having diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all of that, okay? All of that, all of that, okay? Kill that with you. Let it end now, stop it, okay? Stop it. We already need to clean up our diets, 
So yeah, that that is just awesome, man. And right now I'm taking a blend, which I will share in another video, but I'll let you take a look at it. Leave any questions down below, comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. I love y'all, peace.